Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for the second and final session in the 50th Ward Virtual Job Fair event series. Today, we will be hearing from eight employers hiring for positions across multiple industries. Each presenter will speak for approximately five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. After presentations have concluded, we will then be transitioning into small group discussions with employers. Small group discussions will be held as one continuous 60 minute session. You will be able to move freely from room to room. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel for you to refer to later. I would like to draw your attention to this slide here if you are a job seeker on the call. You should have been sent this information in a pre-event email when you registered, but again, just wanna make sure folks are aware of this. If you have not yet downloaded the most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings, you'll wanna go ahead and be sure to do so. If you do not have that software downloaded, you may not be able to utilize some of the breakout rooms features that we do have available, like moving freely from room to room to meet with all of the employers that we have on the call. Just an FYI, if you do need to download that software, you may have to leave the session, but no worry, you do have the ability to rejoin I will be keeping an eye on the waiting room. So if you do have to leave for whatever reason to download that software, I will make sure that you're able to rejoin and of course be able to take part in those breakout rooms. Uh, without further ado, I wanna go ahead and introduce uh, Yisrael Shapiro with um, Alderman Deborah Silverstein's office. Yisrael, would you like to make a few opening remarks? Thank you. Uh, good morning. Um, thank you everyone for coming. As Daniel said, my name is Israel Shapiro. I'm an Alderman Deborah Silverstein staff. That's Chicago's 50th Ward. Um, the Alderman is actually downtown right now. There's the monthly city council meeting is happening right now. So she unfortunately wasn't able to make it, but she asked me to just come on and briefly thank everyone for coming. Um, I know this is, uh, we, we've been doing a job fair for years now, but typically it's in person. This is our first year trying it virtual. And um, I, I'd like to thank everyone who, who made it happen. Thank you, obviously, on behalf of the Alderman. Thank you to Senator Billy Vallum, to Representative Stoneback. Thank you to all the workforce partners. I was involved in all these planning meetings, so I know how hard, how much work went into getting this thing functioning. So thank you to Daniel. Thank you to um, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, Illinois WorkNet, the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, and everyone who worked so hard to make today happen. Um, and I believe Representative Stoneback, if you would like, um, Say some words. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Yisrael. Um, likewise, I want to thank everyone who's participated um, in in making this happen. Uh, Alderman Silverstein, Senator Velavalam's office, all of uh, the staff that has worked so hard, uh, Daniel Mariscal and um, his crew, the Sh uh, Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership, um, Illinois WorkNet, IDS. Everyone's worked so hard and. Um, uh, we're really grateful for all of the participating employers that are with us. Um, uh, we want, you know, you're really taking the time to share information and job opportunities. Um, so we're grateful for that. And also everyone who's adjusted quickly to turn this event into a virtual event um, so that we can maximize interest and attendance. And especially all the participants, thank you for joining us today. Um, as uh, Yisrael mentioned, I am the state representative uh, for the 16th district. That includes parts of Skokie, Lincolnwood, Morton Grove, and the 50th and 40th wards of Chicago. Um, really happy to be here today and thrilled for everyone to join us. Uh, so just want to now introduce our first employer, uh, which is Jose Lopez from DCFS. Hey, thank you, thank you. Uh, like you mentioned, my name is Jose Lopez. I am the Chief of Latino Services for DCFS. Part of what I do is recruitment. And today I'm helping our recruitment office uh, in participating and giving you a small presentation on what DCFS is all about. We are the Child Welfare Agency. So we are out investigating any child abuse and neglect cases. Uh, we also provide child care licenses for anyone who wants to take care of kids in their home, or if they have a child care center, we provide those licenses for those area, as well as looking for foster parents to place the children that we take custody of. And, and at that point, we look for homes for them to uh, in residence. We can find to the situation with the family. 
and also adoptions. Uh, we also do a look for adoption. Usually the persons who want to be foster parents have the first option of being an adoption parent for the kids that they have already in their care should a judge decide that the children cannot be returned back to the homes. So that would be that opportunity. The positions, as you see on the screen right here, uh, child protection specialist, this is the investigator position. Basically, this is the person that's assigned to go out and immediately investigate a situation when, it's, when someone calls the hotline, we send the investigator out. Now, depending on the situation, if it's an emergency situation, the investigator will immediately go and do the investigation. If it's something that's a little bit less, you know, dangerous or so forth, then they have a certain time period to get out there as soon as they can. A lot of times people leave their children home alone and, you know, these you know, this situation cannot happen. So when we get a call, you know, definitely we send the worker out there immediately if there's a child that's home alone. Uh, and then the second position on here is child welfare specialist. This is the person that's given the open case once the case has been opened to work with the parents and see what they need to do in order to get the children returned back to them at that point. Now, both of these posi positions require a lot of travel to the family's homes, uh, going to court, uh, doing a lot of different work. So I would say about 70% of the time is out in the field and about 30% of the time in the office. The next position is the daycare licensing representative. This is the person that goes out and reviews a home that's interested in being licensed so that they can be a licensed daycare home or center. So this worker will go out and do the inspection to see what needs to be done in order to be a certified location for a license. Uh, the next page, please. Okay, uh, we have two tech positions for persons who are good at computers and want to get into the information service specialist one or analyst one. These positions are pretty good positions uh, across the board. Uh, then for persons who don't have a degree, uh, we have the office associate position, which is an entry level position, working in an office environment, reception, filing, anything that deals with an office reception type position. This gets you into the system of the state of Illinois. And once you're within the system, there's an opportunity to move up. Or if you're trying to get a degree after you join up, we do have a, a program that allows you to go to school and we will uh, give you some payment to go to school, as long as it's within the area of the, of the agency that you're within, okay? We have a position on paralegal assistant. And then we also have the public service administrator position, which are supervisors or persons such as myself that work in different um, divisions within the CFS. And then we have a public service administrator six, which is a supervisor over the caseworkers or investigators that work for the department. These are very important positions uh, because the child safety is very important. So the supervisor in this situation is the one that determines a lot of the what's gonna happen within the system. And then finally, the reimbursement officer is another position that we hire for in the CFS. We have a probably a series of about 30 positions that we hire for, but these are the ones that we are currently looking for the most at this time. In order to apply for the department, you have to fill out the CMS 100 application, which is the application that's used by all the state agencies, most of the state agencies, let me put it that way, where you fill out the application and you submit it directly to DCFS to a posting that we have up so that we can immediately look at your application and then we send it to CMS for them to grade your application where they look at your education, your experience, and what other skills you might have that would help you with getting this opportunity. So the interview process right now, uh, we will, if you are eligible to apply for the position and you have an A grade, then we will call you in for an interview at that point. Um, and then we also offer very good state benefits. Um, and, and that's pretty much what I have for today. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation, Jose. And I just want to reiterate for the folks that might have just joined, if you do have any questions for Jose regarding potential employment opportunities with DCFS, please plan to stick around for our breakout rooms portion of the event where you'll be able to ask the questions that you do have directly to Jose. 
Jose, thank you so much for presenting. And of course, we look forward to seeing you in the breakout rooms. Our next presenter will be Tenico. Danny, are you available to present? Yes, I'm right here. Fantastic. You can begin whenever you're ready, Danny, and just uh, let me know when you want me to uh, advance to the next slide, please. Okay. Uh, you can move there to the next slide. Okay. Uh, and Teneco is a company that we focus on. Um, it is a manufacturing company, and we do mostly parts of for the cars uh, uh, manufacturers. Uh, we do for um, hundreds of companies, and Teneco have uh, acquired different uh, factories across the country. For Skokie and in Illinois, we have Drift. It is, uh, we're an automatic company that engineer and manufacture components for nearly every major automotive brand to make um, vehicles cleaner and safer and to improve the fuel economy. And we were um, called uh, Felpro before, before Teneco acquired Felpro. Um, and and the the fourth slide there is Elise. Could you pass the next one? Yeah. Okay. Um. It is a company that we have been for over a hundred years, and right now we have over a thousand uh, team members. And our plan in Skokie, we do we make mostly gaskets for a. Uh, hundreds of, of, car, of car manufacturers. Could you put the next one? Yeah, this is the list of uh, the different uh, brands that we work with. And right now we have available mostly two positions is the mechanic technicians. And we require for this um, at least four years of experience and, and and manufacturing uh, tech, uh, mechanics. And the other position that we have available is the is it general machine operators. We have uh, uh, right now open the weekend shift and mostly for the for the overnight shift. And it will, it, it goes from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. And we are offering 1840 per, per hour. And for this position, it will be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 12 hours for each, for each chief. But uh, the, the candidate will work 36 hours and will pay 40 hours. Right now, this is the only two positions that we have out available. If you have any questions, just feel feel free to reach out and I will be here. Thank you so much for that presentation, Danny. And of course, as I've already stated, I do believe that Danny will be planning to stick around for the breakout room. So if you do have any questions regarding employment opportunities at Tenneco, uh, please reserve your questions to that time where you'll be able to meet directly with her and ask those questions that you do have. Thank you so much, Danny. You're welcome. Our next employer will be H&R Block. Uh, I know we have Nikita on the line. We also have Rick on the line. Not sure if uh, one of you will be presenting or both of you. So just let me know. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, present. Okay. Go ahead, Rick, whenever you're ready. Okay. Uh, if you could just go ahead and advance to the next slide. I just wanted to welcome everyone. Uh, this is, uh, we are H&R Block. We are the largest uh, tax preparation uh, companies out there. Uh, here is our contact information. I am the district manager uh, for the Chicago Loop District, uh, and Nikita is our district uh, preseason manager. Our contact numbers are on there, but like uh, like he had said, we're going to be in the breakout, so you can go ahead and hold your questions until then. If you can go ahead and advance to the next slide. Um, our purpose, you know, to provide and help inspire confidence in our clients, communities everywhere. So basically, you know, we're, we're looking to make a difference in, in the tax industry. Uh, you know, with the pandemic, we have become very, very flexible. 
uh, to be able to, um, if you wanted to become a tax pro, to be able to um, take a tax course with us and advance within. I'll get more into that in a second. Uh, if you can advance to the next slide. You know, about us, you know, we are uh, within five miles of 95% uh, of the Americans. So we reach a lot of people out there uh, to be able to do their tax preparation. And we're also getting into small business, um, payroll and bookkeeping. We have a strong military focus and presence on nearly 100 military bases and over 2,300 military spouses slash wounded warrior income tax course scholarships. So primarily, uh, this presentation is for tax preparation to be able to become a tax pro with us and grow within our organization. Uh, our commitment to our communities through our service as well. So if you can advance to the next slide. You know, our greatest asset is our people. Everyone we're talking to here love to talk to anybody that is interested in uh, pursuing a career with H&R Block. Uh, over eight. 80,000 tax associates. We have 18,000 bilingual tax pros and receptionists. Uh, we have 269 district general managers. It's a position I hold. Uh, and then 12,000 offices. 65% of those are company operated, 35% franchise owned. You can advance to the next slide. We're uniquely positioned to help communities. We have 12,000 locations that help us reach every corner of the country, 12 million clients who visit our offices each year, 12 million hours of conversation about their lives and finances, unlimited potential to drive connections through our conversations. We are very uniquely uh, connected with our clients and everything about their financial uh, business that you can, you can imagine. So you can advance to the next slide. Why work at h and Block? Well, helping others is what we do best here, which means you'll get to see the impact of your work. Um, what, what that fits your lifestyle. So basically we have flexible shifts uh, throughout. So like I, like I was talking about, we are in the Chicago loop, kind of Chicago North as well. Uh, and we have just about every shift that would fit your unique lifestyle. We have a lot of people who come to us uh, that are part-time. We have people that are looking to take a full-time career, uh, and we can teach them to be able to do that. Um, not, not knowing how to prepare taxes, we can, we can get you through a course, and we can get you through uh, everything that you need to be. And if you wanted to become that much more advanced, we have those courses too. It is really a great career uh, to get into, um, and we invest in you as well. So, um, I see Walter Smith raising his hand there. Uh, anyway, uh, we invest in you. Uh, there is in the in the off season. Uh, there's courses that you can take to develop your tax uh, your tax knowledge to be able to take on those small businesses and things like that. So you can advance to the next slide. So this is kind of like the roadmap of a tax professional. Uh, the first year you would become an apprentice. You would take an income tax course. Uh, award-winning training. We have mentoring. Invite your friends and family. We have we had a lot of uh, connections through that referrals and things like that to be able to, you know, somebody some finds an exciting career. We get a lot of referrals within that uh, and grow from within that. Uh, year two, you know, client uh, retention. So basically, we're looking for you to develop that relationship with the client be able to, for them to be able to come year after year and rely on your tax uh, your tax knowledge to take them through that level. Um, I already talked about referrals, uh, you know, in uh, business to business sales, learn more to serve more complex clients. We've talked about that already. Uh, training and experience and the certification levels. You start out at a level one, you can go all the way to level six. And I've seen that happen within two or three years. Uh, if you can advance to the next slide. This is just kind of some of, uh, you know, sayings from our tax professionals after they have uh, received uh, the training and gone through a couple of seasons or even the first season. Uh, you know, these are positive, uh, you know, comments they have said about working for H&R Block. Uh, and, you know, I can't say it uh, any more than that. I have been with H&R Block for 
uh, uh, coming up on uh, two, actually a little over two years. Uh, and I've enjoyed my time and being able to see people grow from a tax professional coming in as an income, take, taking the income tech course and going all the way to a level six. It's just very gratifying. Uh, as you move those levels up, you make a lot more money in commission, you know, after your first year. You can advance to the next slide. What does it take to be successful? You know, basically all that hard work and dedication to be able to learn uh, the tax preparation. You know, it's, it, is a, a, it is a course that you would need to take, uh, but every step of the way there's mentoring, there's things that if you need, if you need help with certain lessons and courses, uh, you can definitely reach out to us. Uh, Nikita is our preseason manager. Uh, she is, works alongside with our ITC uh, students, income tax course students, uh, in case they have any questions. There's instructors, there's uh, what we call DNA, which is our um, wealth of information within the company, which you will have access to. You know, so basically some of these things that are, that are listed on here are going to make you become successful. Hard work and dedication. And I have seen people, you know, make anywhere from you know, $20 an hour to $60 an hour, just depends on what you want to put into it. Um, next slide, please. <laughs> this is ready to start. So uh, again, we're going to be out in a breakout session. Uh, I, our numbers were posted there. I appreciate uh, you allowing me to speak and uh, being able to talk to all of you today. Thank yeah, you. Thank you, Randy. I just want to add, um, that we are hiring primarily tax professionals right now in your experience, uh, but we are also looking for assistant team leaders and receptionists. Yep. Thank you, Nikita. So thank you so much to Rick and Nikita for your presentation. And as Rick just stated, uh, they will be sticking around for our breakout rooms portion of the event. So if you do have any questions for either of them, uh, please reserve them to that time where, of course, you'll have an opportunity to speak and speak and meet with them directly and get those questions answered. Thank you to the both of you. Thank Our you. next employer presenter will be Let Us Entertain You Restaurants. Monique, are you available to present? Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Monique Hunt. I'm with Let Us Entertain You Restaurants. I'm really happy to be here with you all today. And just to give you a, a little insight into our company, we are very lucky to have just celebrated our 50th year in business. Uh, we're uh, one of the largest restaurant companies nationwide, and we are privately owned uh, with over 120 restaurants. Um, I always say from coast to coast, uh, obviously the base of those restaurants being here in Chicago. Uh, throughout the Chicagoland area, but primarily you'll find our restaurants in the downtown River North and West Loop area. But also you'll find uh, some opportunities um, that you can start with here in Chicago. And as uh, many folks have, you know, friends and family and life kind of takes you other places, uh, you have opportunities to travel and transfer to, uh, to other locations to keep your career going. And as I was saying, this company, we've got um, over 120 restaurants, um, more than 60 concepts, uh, all started by this gentleman right here before you, Rich Melman. Uh, he and his partner back in 1971, Jerry Orzov, uh, really just wanted to create an environment um, at one restaurant that would be suitable for, for both of their mothers. Um, Rich and Jerry's uh, mothers both were servers and they sometimes didn't have great experiences at work and they wanted to create a restaurant where their mothers could succeed and do well and they Put together RJ Grunt's. It's a um, one of the most iconic restaurants that we have in the Lincoln Park area uh, in Chicago. So with that one restaurant, um, over the years they um, kept meeting interesting people with new ideas and created bigger plans. And that one restaurant turned into over 60 concepts uh, with multiple partners uh, throughout throughout our company. And this is a uh, handful quite literally just a handful of all the restaurants that hopefully some of you are familiar with uh, that we have under our umbrella. Beginning with RJ Grunts, as you'll see in that top left-hand corner, uh, we have concepts in, ranging from the casual brands all the way up to, you know, the fine dining, um, more, um, I guess, fancy, for lack of a better word, style of dining, um, Shaw's Crab House, and uh, you'll see, as I know, one of Chicago's um, iconic uh, seafood houses. Um, made some collaborations with the Joe Stone Crab um, team down in Miami and created that concept. 
So again, everything from the high end to grab and go concepts like Big Bowl Chinese Express and um, some fun and fancy cocktails that you'll find at Three Dots and a Dash, as well as the RPM steak, Italian and excuse me, seafood brands that you'll find in the River North area. Another thing that we've also put together um, almost a dozen years, uh, I'm sorry, almost 10 years ago is the Windy City Smokeout. It's something that we, uh, that we operate every summer. Uh, last year, of course, we had to take a hiatus with the pandemic, but we were back again this year. So for all the restaurant concepts that you uh, saw just on the previous slide, uh, we do have some opportunities for, for those who are looking just for summer work every year uh, for anywhere from seven days um, up to 30 days just to get a little bit of fun in um, to help support the, the food operations and the end of the management operations of this big summer event that draws up to uh, 15,000 people. So we have we like to have a good time. Some of the positions that we have open at our corporate level is um, you'll see in three different um, arenas, one with information technology, uh, one, one in marketing and one in human resources. So our uh, IT technology, I think like many companies, uh, we're starting to um, beef up in terms of just with cybersecurity, particularly to protect our um, IT infrastructure. So the, uh, that's a, these are pro all professional positions that do require a bit of training um, already coming to the table. And uh, obviously we'll have our, our chief, chief information officer available to, um, to really lead that charge to help get, to, um, to get that rolling for you. But uh, for our systems analysts and IT field ops, we might have some background already for someone to come to the table with. Uh, and our marketing team, they are easily the most fun department at our corporate office. Uh, they definitely like to have a good time, but uh, they also want to make sure that they're communicating with all of our guests and, um, and, and internal team members properly as well. So strong writing skills are something that our chief marketing officer is looking for in this area. Uh, for our data analysts, um, writing skills and uh, a little bit of background with numbers and spreadsheets and um, all of that good stuff will be helpful for those positions. And in human resources, our director of employee relations and our corporate office receptionist, uh, those are definitely more people centric, uh, someone who's got a real, uh, a real aptitude at developing relationships, um, managing, uh, co uh, managing conflict, and being a support and advocate for our teams are, those are basically the qualifications that we're looking for for those roles. But in general, whether it's for a corporate office or for our restaurant roles, we're really looking for someone who likes to have fun. We're looking for people who like to take care of people. Uh, we are definitely known for our culture of caring of not only taking care of each other, but also taking care of ourselves, making sure that our wells are full and, and that we have what we need for ourselves so that we can better take care of people along the way. And to give you a little insight into some of the restaurant positions uh, where a lot of the action, so to speak, is uh, a number of roles for management. Um, all, we uh, typically don't handle or hire general managers from the outside. Uh, we like to promote from within. So our highest per, um, position that we will hire from the outside is at an assistant on uh, GM level. And that's someone who's had anywhere from three to five years experience um, in specifically in the hospitality arena. Uh, again, people who can lead teams, people who are great uh, on the floor, as well as with their employees with uh, some administrative duties. And then we have our floor restaurant managers, catering sales managers, and uh, those who are experienced with culinary for our kitchen leadership. For our hourly roles, we really are running the gamut from bartender, server, host, barista, um, all the way from you know, the front of the house to the back of the house. Um, many of these positions don't require any prior experience in the, in the restaurant industry. Uh, it requires someone who genuinely wants to take care of people. It requires someone who likes to have a good time and who's uh, most of all willing to learn. So uh, depending on whether you've worked in a restaurant for six weeks or six years, uh, there's a place for you either in our casual concepts or if you're looking for something a little more posh and fine dining, we've got those opportunities as well. A few of the benefits that uh, some of our employees really, really are, are proud of and that we like to focus on uh, first and foremost is um, insurance. Uh, we, I mentioned before that we'd like you to take care of yourself and the best way to accomplish that is to make sure that you've got health insurance. 
uh, there are there is a qualified qualification period. Um, some, some positions it takes uh, 60 days, some positions it'll take uh, six months to reach that threshold to qualify. Uh, but we do offer Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. And uh, for those who are, are part-time workers, you also qualify um, for some other benefits, um, including critical illness and dental, if you don't qualify for the full um, benefit package there. But all of our corporate positions and all of our management positions will um, allow you to have the uh, full benefits package with insurance with domestic um, domestic partner coverage. Uh, something that we love uh, to do for our team since we are a family owned company is to um, celebrate life, uh, whether that's someone becoming a new parent, uh, someone becoming newly married, uh, sometimes becoming newly divorced. Um, sometimes life happens and we like to take care of our teams uh, in, in those respects as celebrations and as, you know, sometimes just moving forward. We uh, do offer 401k as well as um, an employee assistance program, which can range up with benefits, everything from parking discounts uh, all the way up to mental health services, which uh, we're finding are, it's a really been a, um, a big perk that we've been able to uh, give to our teams, uh, so offering those through these challenging times of the pandemic. Um, all of our employees will get a dining discount card. Um, all of those restaurant concepts and the Wendy's City Smokeout that you just saw there, uh, you will be able to dine uh, with um, one guest um, at a discount. Depending on your on your um, status there, you'll have um, anywhere from a 20% discount up to a 50% discount, as well as um, some paid leave options, um, both parental leave, as well as uh, if you just need to take some time away, anywhere from 30 to 90 days. I'm offering you that space to, to take away either for your family or to take care of your, um, your health. We, we definitely like to make sure that people have that flexibility, uh, not only with leaves, but with their schedules and uh, offerings for our corporate employees, a um, hybrid home option. You will be able to um, spend some time at our office, which is on the north side in the Edgewater uptown area, um, as well as work from home uh, once you get settled through your training. And uh, as I mentioned at the very beginning, uh, if your life takes you beyond Chicago, you'll have the opportunity to um, not only move, have upward mobility and growth here in, um, within your roles in Chicago, but the opportunities to transfer to other locations like Washington, DC or Vegas and down in Austin, Texas, where we recently opened. So the opportunities for, for growth are tremendous. And it's something that I myself have been a product of having the opportunity to um, learn, grow, get mentored, and uh, and be a mentor to help other people um, progress as they as they're moving through their career. Sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, to wrap things up in approximately a minute or so. Perfect. Yes, I just um, the last slide that we have uh, for anyone who's watching, uh, you'll see in bright red. Um, all of those positions that you saw listed are on lettucejobs.com or you can reach out to me directly um, at mhunt at leye.com as well. And we're all over social media. If you uh, wanna take a peek, um, just uh, type in Let Us Entertain Your Restaurants and you'll find us on the web. Thanks everyone. Thank you so much for that presentation, Monique. And as I've stated uh, for the folks that have joined the session just recently, I wanna let you know, Monique will be sticking around, I do believe for the breakout rooms portion of the event. So if you do have any questions for her regarding any of the opportunities covered, uh, with Let Us Entertain You Restaurants. Please plan to stick around for that portion of the event where you can get those questions answered. Thank you again, Monique. Our next presenter will be Worldwide Flight Services. Patrice, are you available to present? Yes, can you hear me? I can, you can begin whenever you're ready, Patrice. Okay, great. Good morning, I wanna thank everyone for their interest in considering worldwide flight services. Our company is an aviation logistics company. We have over 32,000 employees and we operate in 22 countries around the globe. In the United States, we have over 95 offices. Worldwide Flight O'Hare handles the cargo that comes into the Chicago area from overseas. The cell phones, tablets, laptops, designer clothes, designer handbags and shoes, not to mention all of the toys. All of that comes to us on giant cargo planes. Our company has grown exponentially. When I began here last year, we were housed in two buildings. Now we are in five buildings and we're going to add more space for our cargo operations. So picture this, if you will. Uh, we have a plane that's loaded in several cities in Asia and Europe. 
Uh, the plane, each plane has four pilots, and each team of two pilots flies or naps until they switch to bring the new cargo imports into our area or to handle taking away the exports. The plane arrives in our cargo team of employees, maybe you one day, remove all the cargo from the plane. Our warehouse team takes the cargo and inventories it to make sure everything that's come over has arrived in good shape. We have an office agent team, and they process all of the paperwork with U.S. Customs. Customs is responsible to approve everything that is bought into the country to be sold. They come into our offices and confirm everything directly in the warehouse. They make sure that all the items are authentic and eligible for sale. Once the items are approved, truckers from your big box stores like Costco, Walmart, Sam's Club, Big Lots, Target, they send their distribution teams to pick up the cargo and take it to their distribution centers. From there, the items are delivered to the stores and you buy it. So we have several hundred employees in Chicago. Most of them are in the cargo area at O'Hare Airport. You can go to the next slide. Most of our employees are warehouse employees. There are union positions. The entry level positions pay about 17 an hour. We pay more for experienced cargo employees. These positions are union jobs and they offer full benefits, medical, dental, vision, life insurance, short and long-term disability. We offer a 401k program. Our union offers a retirement program. We're also filling supervisor and management positions for applicants who have lots of cargo experience. Our office agents handle the paperwork and process the various information that comes to with every export and import shipment. These positions have shifts that are around the clock. We're a 24-7, 365 operation. We literally never close or slow down. We offer paid training for all of our positions. Our company is in the process of hiring about 100 to 120 positions at O'Hare. We offer full-time positions in the warehouse and cargo. We also offer part-time positions in material handling. The part-time job is the perfect job for a college student who's living in the Chicago area while attending school. It's also great for anyone looking to add more hours before they go to work or at the end of their scheduled work day. People who work um, and love this work include people who work within the home and teachers because it allows them to work around their busy schedule. For the part-time position, you would work about 20 hours a week. You'll be working from Tuesday to Friday, no weekends involved. Worldwide Flight is always looking for employees that we can promote. We believe in hiring from within and we provide full leadership training. We offer transfer capabilities to other cities throughout the U.S. and uh, throughout the world, and we groom all of our employees for success. We treat all of our employees like family, and we work as a team to make our growth and success happen. If you want to join our team, I'm going to ask that you give me a call or text me at 630-453-0116. I'll be happy to schedule you to come in and see the business and get you started. We hire on the spot. Our next training class is scheduled for Monday, September 20th. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for that presentation, Patrice. And Patrice, if you wouldn't mind, if you can go ahead and throw that phone number you just mentioned into the chat for folks, that would be fantastic, just so they have a place where they can uh, see that directly and access that information. Sure, no problem. Excellent, thank you so much, Patrice. Our next presenter will be the Indo-American Center. Angie, are you available to present? Hello, everyone. Yes, I'm here. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for joining today. Uh, so I'm Angie Lobo. I'm Executive Director at Indo-American Center. The Indo-American Center is a 30-year-old community-based organization. We've been serving the 
um, immigrant and South Asian community of Westridge uh, since 1990. So I guess we're, we're approaching 31 years. And we provide a variety of um, services to benefit the community. So we're a nonprofit organization. Sorry, I should start there. So we're a nonprofit organization. Uh, we provide a variety of services to the community. Um, we offer immigration legal services as well for citizens, so that citizenship um, applications and adjustment of status applications, those sorts of things. We also have uh, citizenship classes that we offer. And we also help people with access and connection to public benefits and other um, programs. So we have some general case management that assesses what services people might need and connect them to the appropriate resources. We also provide ESL classes, a daily senior lunch program, and um, I'm forgetting something. Oh, uh, we have a big, um, community health worker program where we're doing outreach and education in the community around public health um, needs and um, issues, particularly right now around um, COVID vaccinations. And then we also have a um, community navigator program that also does education and outreach as well as uh, some civic engagement work. So um, I maybe, yeah, if you can, yeah, oh, there we are. All right, so I just did all that by memory instead of showing you. Um, we are located at Devon in California. Here is our contact information. Um, all of the job descriptions are up on our website. I'll also be providing them in the breakout room. Um, if you wanna go to the next slide. Oh yeah, here we go. I just went through all the, I'm just, I'm doing this really quickly. I know it's a lot of information that you're trying to process and keep track of. So uh, I wanted to just give this quickly. So we actually can go to the next slide, which is just what are the jobs that we have available? Oops, sorry, our, the formatting um, didn't work out perfectly. But um, so we have two full-time positions. Um, one is the uh, civic engagement coordinator. Um, with the salary range of 36,000 to 40,000, it's one opening. Um, and that person is responsible really to do relationship building um, and working with youth in the neighborhood, developing youth leadership and engaging youth on a variety of um, civic issues, whether that's around um, policy or legislation or other issues that would benefit the, the neighborhood and the community. Um, and especially around like get out the vote efforts is one of the main things. So it's really just engaging the youth in civic life. The other position that's full time that we have available is our human resources and finance associate. So um, that salary range is 45,000 to 50,000. Um, it's also one opening. And that person is responsible for daily um, financial operations and HR payroll related accounting activities. So they'll be processing payroll, processing accounts payable, accounts receivable, um, salary allocations, doing some um, general ledger entries into QuickBooks, reconciling, um, doing bank recs and credit card statements um, for the financial end. And then for the human resources end is really helping with um, like new hire, paperwork, onboarding, orienting, uh, and just some, some general like day-to-day -day HR management. Um, so those are the two full-time positions. Actually, we have one more full-time position that I don't see on here. I don't know if we forgot it or if we sent an older version of this. PowerPoint. I think I might have accidentally sent an older version of this PowerPoint. Um, we also have one more full-time position, which is an intake specialist. That person will be working in our immigration department, helping our immigration attorney and immigration associate in um, really screening new immigration clients and um, identifying what their needs are and, um, and getting them on the list for um, uh, client assessments and seeing if we can take on their case and also just helping with some of the admin for that department, including some of the data entry and like just processing of notices and systems. And then the intake specialist will also be um, helping with our legal clinic. 
which is once a month. And they'll be coordinating with attorneys and clients to get them set up with the legal clinic. So we have three full-time positions open. Um, and then for our part-time positions, thank you. Uh, we actually have quite a few. So uh, we have three openings for ESL teachers. So our ESL teachers work Monday through Thursday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., 16 hours a week, 15 to $17 an hour based on experience. And they're really, um, we have curriculum, you're teaching um, students English, and really the mission of that is to help students achieve stability um, in the community by gaining some practical English language proficiency. Um, and that's for whatever they might need it for, whether it's for employment or for helping navigate um, school with for their children, different things like that. So. Um, it's a really rewarding um, position and we're looking for three different people for that work. Um, that one doesn't have a lot of flexibility. That one is, is pretty set like nine to one, four days a week. Um, the community health worker positions is actually much more flexible. Um, it's about 15 to 20 hours a week. Um, it's not set. It can be based around your availability and your schedule. Uh, we have nine openings for that position, and the pay rate is the same as for the ESL instructors. And what we'll be doing there is we'll be training you on various topics, and then you'll be going out into the community and um, training others and, and telling others about, um, for instance, like COVID education or diabetes management education or things like that. And the goal there is to improve the overall health of the Westridge community. So um, whatever um, health issues the community is facing, we'll be out there doing education and, and training to helping people get better. Uh, we also have citizenship classes. And so we're looking for one citizenship teacher. You'll be part of a team. We do have another citizenship teacher that is already on staff. Um, and basically you'll be teaching citizenship classes. That one, we have the curriculum all set and ready to go. The, um, the program's been around for a long time. Um, there's anywhere from 15 to um, 20 students in the class. They are um, remote, actually. Most of the classes are remote, so you wouldn't necessarily have to come into the center for those classes. And, um, What's really great about that is you get to help people along their journey to becoming a citizen. So that's been um, really rewarding for folks as well. Uh, we get to celebrate with folks as they re, uh, achieve their citizenship, which is really nice. Um, that one is requires a little bit more evening, um, afternoon and evening work. Um, the morning class is covered with the current position. So um, this would be good for folks that have uh, availability in the evenings or even weekends. And then finally, we have the adult literacy volunteer coordinator. It's one opening, um, again, 15 to $17 an hour, commiserate on experience. And for this one, um, your role would be to recruit and train volunteers that would then help the ESL students. Uh, with one-on-one -on -one tutoring or even group tutoring. So it's kind of a mixed position. You're both working with the students, but really you're coordinating the volunteer program that connects with the students. Um, uh, if you wanna go to the next slide, I can talk a little bit about our, our benefits and our structure. I'm sorry to interrupt, Angie. We will have to wrap things up in probably about a minute or so. Oh, sure. Perfect. I'll be done. Um, so, of course, we're an equal oppor opportunity employer. Um, for full-time employees, we offer competitive benefits, health, dental, vision. Uh, oh, we also offer vision um, and life. Um, we offer monthly cell phone stipends. Uh, we also, especially... Um, for the full-time positions, we offer really flexible schedules, um, a hybrid of work from home and work in the office, especially depending on the position. We offer 401k and we have a really generous PTO policy. I think that might be it. Yeah. Um, if you are interested, please send your resume to jobs at indoamerican.org. Excellent. Thank you so much for that presentation to Angie. And I do believe that uh... Angie will be sticking around for the breakout rooms portion of the event. So if you do have any questions regarding any of the positions that she just covered during her presentation, 
please plan to stick around for that portion of the event where of course you'll have an opportunity to speak with her directly and get those questions answered. Thank you, Angie. Thank you. Our next employer presenter will be Great Lakes Coca-Cola. Giselle, are you available to present? Yes, I am. Excellent. Thank you everyone, good morning. I am so glad to participate in this event. Um, I am um, Giselle Lopez. I am the generalist, HR generalist uh, for Great Lakes Coca-Cola in Niles. Uh, I support uh, different departments in here, um, especially the production department, as well I support some departments in the headquarters side and the uh, Make It Ready Center. Okay, Greg Lakes Coca-Cola Bottling is a proud bottler and distributor of Coca-Cola products. Greg Lakes Coca-Cola Bottling manufactures, markets, and delivers more than 137 million cases annually from seven bottling facilities and operates in eight states, including Illinois, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, and Tennessee. We carry multiple brands in multiple beverage categories and serve over 80,000 outlets, including restaurants, sporting venues, healthcare facilities, schools, convenience stores, and supermarkets. You can move. Some important um, facts, we have 30 facilities um, around the Midwest area, over 50,000 retail accounts, and over 130 million cases delivered annually. You can move. This is the map of the different locations that we have in the Midwest. So we have plenty of opportunities around. We offer different benefits um, like health insurance, medical insurance with United Healthcare, prescription drugs plan with CVS. We offer dental with MedLife, vision, flexible spending account, wellness programs. We offer also paid time off, um, life insurance, and independent life, AD and D, short term disability plans, paid by the company, 401k retirement plan with company matching. And we offer all the additional benefits like pet insurance. We offer as well vendor discounts and petition reimbursement opportunities. Cool. The positions that we have available right now in the Niles facility are the maintenance mechanics. This is a union position. So it comes also with sick time, um, vacation time. Um, the candidates must, must be able to work any shift uh, because this is a 24 seven uh, operations facility. We have the maintenance electrician uh, also to support the production side. They also must be willing to work any shift uh, main and supervisor, this must be for second shift. Um, the logistic planner uh, field service is uh, to support the field service department. They work with the routing. Um, the manufacturing supervisor is to support the production facility. They also must be willing to work um, any shift. This is a old salary position. And the working oper the forklift operator um, this is to support also the warehouse uh, in the production side. It's a union position as well. If you are interested in any of these positions, please visit our website, uh, greglacecoca-cola.com slash careers. Thank you for your attention. I'm gonna be available in the break room if you have any questions. Thank you so much for that presentation, Giselle. And again, as we've been stating throughout uh, our presentation here today, if you do have any questions for Giselle regarding any of the employment opportunities that are offered by Great Lakes Coca-Cola, please plan to stick around for our breakout rooms portion of the event that'll be coming up here shortly. Of course, at that time, you'll have an opportunity to get those questions answered directly from the employer reps on the call. Thank you so much, Giselle. Our next and final employer will be the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Uh, Jolie, are you available to present? Yes. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, you can begin whenever you're ready. Perfect. All right, please go ahead to the next slide. My name is Jolie. I am a senior recruiter at the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Um, the Food Depository is one of the largest in North America. We serve about 700 food pantries, soup kitchens, shelters, and community programs. Um, and that equates to about 800,000 children and adults per year. So we are the main food hub and we distribute out to the smaller pantries um, throughout the Chicagoland area. 
We are also part of the Feeding America Network um, for food banks, and in total, we distribute about 70 million pounds of non-perishable food, produce, dairy products, and meat. Um, so we have a pretty wide reach throughout the Chicagoland area. Um, so as an organization, we're committed to ending hunger and its root causes of hunger outside of just um, the regular nutrition support that we provide through the community, um, we also realized with COVID-19 that there has been an increase um, in need for a lot of different services. We have a community impact team that does a lot of work um, with getting folks registered for um, food and nutrition support programs, such as the SNAP program. Um, so outside of just regular food support, we do offer a lot of other resources to the community as well. Next slide, please. Thank you. Um, a couple of positions and a couple that are not added on this list right now. Um, so we do have a couple of openings in our accounting department. Manager of accounting um, would obviously need to have an accounting degree and experience with managing staff. Our accounting clerk is a more entry position. So if you do have accounting experience, um, this role is something that you would probably qualify for. And a lot of that work would be um, accounts payable and accounts receivable. Um, in addition, we also do have a new position on our marketing team. Um, it's the manager of volunteer engagement. So this role would um, manage our volunteer program, which is very robust. And um, we have a lot of corporate opportunities. So that's something we're really excited about. We do have two positions on our IT team, um, an IT business uh, program project manager, as well as an IT business analyst. So if you do have some entry IT experience, the business analyst role would probably be a good fit for you. Um, and then we do have a large number of positions on our development slash fundraising team, um, a couple of different roles, prospective development manager, senior manager of direct response, senior manager of annual giving, foundation and grants coordinator, as well as a foundation and grants manager. So um, kind of with the increased need that we saw with COVID-19, we also received um, a ton of government support as well as um, an increase in donations from people just wanting to give back to the community. So those are the positions that are on the screen. Outside of that, we do have positions that support our warehouse. Um, so we have CDLA and CDLB drivers. Those positions come in, the B drivers starting at $18 and the A driver would be at $24. We also do rec routinely recruit for meal production assistant roles. Um, and that position starts at 1680 and those can be part-time or full-time. So a ton of different opportunities here at GCFD. Um, if you have that more technical experience or you wanna kind of be um, in the background in the warehouse with the meal production side of things, we have roles for you. Um, if you do have a little bit more experience, if you went to school for some sort of technical training such as accounting, or you have some sort of development or fundraising background, we do have positions for you um, as well. So you can apply at chicagofoodbank.org, chicagos with an S, foodbank.org slash careers. Um, and then if you go to the next slide, uh, my contact information, um, well, that'll be on the last slide, but I'll run through benefits really quickly as well. And um, we have a really robust benefits program, which um, I'm actually a new employee, so I feel like I have a pretty good perspective on um, some of those benefits that they offer. We do have medical, dental, and vision. We do use Blue Cross Blue Shield, so there are a couple of different um, options that you can select there. We also do have life um, insurance that is provided, um, it's double your salary up to $300,000 um, at no cost to you. We do have short-term and long-term disability. We have the EAP program, which I know a couple of other employers mentioned, which is basically just an employee um, kind of wellness program. You can use it for counseling services and it's usually um, all anonymous. So that's a really great resource. I um, if you're struggling with a lot of the, you know, standard work life issues that we all go through. Um, we also do have an employer-based contribution retirement savings plan that we match up to 7% um, after your first um, year of employment here. And then another pro uh, benefit that we just added this year that we're super excited about is our Thrive Pass. Um, the purpose of this 
benefit is to provide you with a better work-life balance. So it gives you $3,000 a year split up into um, 12 installments of $250 a month outside of just your regular paycheck. And um, it's not taxed or anything like that. And you can use that to pay for things that you normally probably already pay for out of pocket. Um, you can use it to get your nails done. If you want to go to the spa, you can use it for buying pet food. So there's a long list of options that you can use it for. And that's a really great option. Um, since you probably already pay for those things out of pocket. And then lastly, we do have free lunch um, for all employees until the end of the year. So we partnered with um, a lot of local minority um, as well as small businesses. And we invested about $250,000 into that, into the community. So that's something that we're excited to provide for our um, employees. And I'm sorry, that should say uh, for the year of 2021. And here's my information. Um, if you need to contact me directly, here's my email as well as my phone number um, if you have any questions. And thank you for your time. I will be in um, one of the breakout sessions as well. Thank you so much for that presentation, Jolie. And as I've been stating, just want to reiterate, if you do have any questions for Jolie regarding any of the uh, employment opportunities available at Greater Chicago Food Depository, please plan to stick around for the breakout room session uh, that will actually be upcoming here next. So if you give me one moment here, I'm going to go ahead and advance to our initial breakout room slide here. Again, just going to go over a few ground rules, a couple things to note and be aware of uh, if you're new to this kind of system or format, if you will. Just want to make sure that everyone's on the same page and that everything's clear as we open up these rooms um, today. So again, if you were here at the beginning of the uh, session. This slide should be familiar to you. Uh, again, this should have also been information that was relayed or sent to you when you registered for the event as a reminder email via Eventbrite. Uh, but you want to be sure to have the most uh, recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings downloaded. You can see uh, the link is provided there. The reason that we ask you to do that is uh, we have had some instances where folks were running some outdated uh, software. Uh, and they weren't able to utilize all of the Zoom breakout room features, such as being able to freely move from uh, room to room, things of that nature. Um, so if you have not uh, yet downloaded that, you should probably uh, think about going ahead and doing so. So you do have the ability to uh, exercise some of those uh, different features that uh, are available. Just a quick thing to note, you may have to leave the session to do so. Uh, you are more than welcome to rejoin the session. I will keep an eye on the waiting room here, of course, to let folks back in that had to leave to uh, download this add-on. Uh, but again, uh, I will be here. I'll be monitoring that waiting room and make sure that you do get back in so you can meet with the employers. Uh, the next slide that I do have up on the screen here is just to kind of help guide you through how to join a breakout room session. Now, I just do want to know, full disclosure, uh, those screenshots that you see on your screen there were taken on my uh, desktop or laptop, if you will. Uh, so if you are joining via cell phone or tablet or some other mobile device, it may look a little bit different to you uh, when I go ahead and open up those rooms. But again, if you are joining via laptop or desktop, that should be what you see on your screen when you move your cursor. Uh, a toolbar will come up when I open up the breakout rooms. There should be an option you'll see there with the red square. Uh, there'll be an icon that will say breakout rooms. You'll click on that. The second screenshot you see there is what should come up in a separate window. There will be a, a complete list of all the employers that we have breakout rooms for. And you'll see off to the right hand side where we have that red circle, the option to join. Um, any of the employer rooms that you want to join, you'll just click on that and you should be redirected to that session. Now, um, I just want to real quickly go ahead and note we have had instances again where folks are um, running outdated software or for whatever reason, they're just having technical difficulties navigating this breakout room process or joining a session. No worries if, if you're having issues joining the rooms freely or moving freely from room to room. I can manually assign you to a room. You'll just have to let me know in the chat, drop me a, a message and let me know who you'd like to meet with. One thing to note there, if you are you find yourself having to do that, um, you will not be able to leave that session and go freely to another employer room. So if I have to manually assign you to a room, you'll have to leave that room and come back to this main session that we're in now. 
and then tell me the next employer you'd like to meet with and I'll have to manually assign you to the next employer. Again, uh, we realize that's kind of a pain and that's why we encourage you to download that recent software so we can avoid that issue. But again, if you're having problems, just let me know which room you'd like to go to and I'll send you there. Just an FYI, this screen will also be up um, in the main room for the duration of the session to help get you to uh, those breakout rooms. So just a quick, real quick overview as far as format is concerned, you'll see there each employer will have a designated breakout room. We'll also have a member of the planning team in there for basic troubleshooting. Uh, we did actually meet some of that uh, time that we did lose after a few employers uh, were not able to join us today. So we are on schedule here. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move forward with the 55 minute session still. And again, if you do have that uh, most recent version of Zoom Client for Meetings downloaded, you should be able to move freely throughout all the employer rooms. And we do allow you to unmute yourself and turn on your camera when you do enter those rooms, of course. Uh, just be mindful of what you're doing. Please be appropriate and make sure that you're muted when you're not asking your questions, if you would, please. Again, just some ground rules to highlight here. Please don't monopolize or take up all of an employer's time. Realize that you do have fellow job seekers that want to ask questions as well. Feel free to unmute yourself again and ask your question. Uh, but once you have asked your question, then please just, uh, you know, mute yourself again to allow other job seekers to have that same opportunity. It'll also kind of cut down or eliminate on background noise or other interruptions. Again, you can share your video camera, but please be courteous, respectful, and professional. Uh, if you don't abide by those rules, of course, we do have a kind of a graduated process. We can go about correcting that behavior, uh, if you, you know, are, are, are disruptive. We can place you on mute if need be. Um, you will receive a verbal warning. If you continue to be disruptive at that point, then you will be permanently placed on mute by that partner rep in the room. You will be allowed to stay in the session uh, and ask questions through the chat, but please do realize that uh, the folks that have not been muted will obviously take precedent as far as questions that are asked. So the employer rep will get to you as time permits. If you cause uh, further disruption in the chat, we do have the ability to eject you from the session entirely. And if that does happen, you will not be permitted re-entry. We have never had an instance where we've had to do that. And of course, I, I trust that folks on the line here will um, abide by these rules and we'll have a great uh, fruitful event. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open up these rooms. I do wanna let folks know again, uh, you can move freely from room to room. I'll put that slide back up here on the screen. We do have the timer set to 55 minutes. In each room, there should be a timer counting down the time we have left in the right upper right-hand corner. Uh, once that time has elapsed, we do have a 60-second countdown timer. So when that time has elapsed at the end of that 55 minutes, we will be redirected or you will be redirected, excuse me, back to the main room here where we'll give a few closing remarks and uh, close out the session. So without further ado, again, we'll go ahead and open up these rooms. And if you do have issues joining, feel free to drop the employer that you'd like to meet with into the chat and I will do my best to get you sent there. And those rooms are open now. Employers should be joining as well as our partners. And again, if you are a job seeker, you can have the most recent uh, software downloaded. You should be able to, again, move to uh, any room that you'd like. And Patrice, I saw you just rejoined. I'm going to have to merge your video uh, with your audio here. Give me one moment. Hi, Monique. Give me one moment here. I think you, if you're a job seeker, I will have to send you to that room if you're unable to join on your own. Real quick, um, Patrice. Yeah. You will have to leave the session on your actual Zoom account because it got unpaired from your um, user account. We oh. had this issue happen yesterday. If that audio, if that audio that's paired with your account gets separated, 
you can't join the breakout room. So you'll have to close out your, um, your Zoom account that you've got and rejoin. And then I'll be able to merge your phone audio with that account and then send you to that room, okay? Okay, so hang up and dial in again. No, you'll have to uh, exit the session on your laptop and rejoin. Oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. All right. Okay, so while we're waiting for that, for the job seeker that just spoke, were you wanting to meet with Let Us Entertain You? For Monique? Okay, did not hear anything else additional from that job seeker. For the folks that are still having difficulty joining a room, again, uh, if you're joining through your laptop or desktop, you should be able to get there by following the instructions on the screen that you see in your screenshots. If not, if you're joining through a mobile device, you may have to um, click what's next to that breakout rooms um, screenshot that you see there on your screen that that more tab, there should be some sort of similar option on your phone or mobile device. If you click that, a drop down menu should come down where you should see uh, the ability to join breakout rooms as well. And you can join through that uh, process there. And if you are unable to do so, you can always drop me a message in the chat. Let me know who you'd like to meet with and I will send you to that room. Daniel. Yeah. Theodore, do yes. you want me to just join Worldwide Flight or you want me someplace else? Uh, you can go ahead and join Worldwide Flight if you'd like, Theo. I know I have another rep in there because I wasn't sure if you were going to be able to join the session or not. Yeah, I just couldn't get in until yep. almost no worries. 1030. Yep. You can join that room if you'd like. Okay, got it. Walter, just saw your message. You... Yep. Can you hear me? Hi, Patrice. I can. Taking a look at your... Worldwide flight account. Did you um, did you leave the session and rejoin it? Because I still see that you're joined there. Yeah. Okay. Give me a moment here. I'm going to move it back. I'm going to move that account back to the main session here. So if you can accept okay. that, there should be a prompt okay. that come, that came up. If you can accept that to come back to the main session, I should be able to pair that now. Give me a moment here. And then we should okay. be able to get you sent to that room. I do apologize for that. No problem. Okay. Here we go. All right, so it's merged now. You should be good. I'm going to send you back into that room now, but be aware if your phone disconnects again, we're going to have to go through the same process again. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to send you to that room <coughs> now. Hello. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi, my name is Nissan, and uh, I just joined uh, this uh, online uh, opportunities for job. Yes. And uh, I and I heard from Alderman uh, office that they have uh, rooms to some companies. Can you briefly tell me which companies they are? Yes, give me one moment here, sir. I'm actually trying to move an employer to their room. As soon as I get that done, I will let you know which employers we have on the line and I can move you there. Thank you, man. Yep, no problem. All right, Patrice, I do apologize here. I'm not seeing the name in the unassigned category. So I think what we're gonna go have to do, I know this is gonna be kind of odd, Daniel, uh, Pat Moore, I'm here. You need, yes. me, to, you need me to help? Uh, I'm working through this right now, Pat, but okay. for the most part, I think I'm okay. Um, for Patrice, if you're on the line, what I'm going to have to do is send you to another employer room. If you can accept that, 
go ahead and do so. Once you're in that room, I can then send you back to the worldwide flight room. It's kind of a, a quirky thing with Zoom here, unfortunately. So I'm gonna send an invite for you to join the Teneco room, accept it. Once you've joined it, I will send you to the worldwide flight room, then go ahead and accept that and you should be back into that room, okay? Patrice, are you on the line? Yes, I'm here. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Okay, so I think we got that taken care of. Nissan, circling back around to your question. The employers that we have on the line are DCFS, Teneco, H&R Block, Let Us Entertain You Restaurants, Worldwide Flight Services, the Indo-American Center, Great Lakes Coca-Cola, and the Greater Chicago Food Depository. If those, any of those employers you wanna to go to, let me know and I can send you there. Which one? Uh, the first one, FS. What's that, FS? It is in O'Hare Airport? Uh, no, that's Worldwide Flight. Is that the one that you want to go to? No, I'm asking you, FS, what, what kind of job they have there? DCFS is the Department of Children and Family Services. That's a state agency, state of Illinois. Okay, Daniel, can I ask a question, please? I know this is something new for me. But uh, you are uh, you are from uh, which department? I am just facilitating this event, Nissan. I'm not doing any sort of hiring. I can send you to a room where you can meet with somebody where you could potentially get a job, but I, I am not an employer. I'm not on, here on behalf of an employer. I understand that, but you are from the city of Chicago or where? No, I am from Illinois WorkNet state agency okay before before you before you transfer me to worldwide because i used to work many years in o'hare airport and i know that uh, place very well and i have their phone numbers uh, but uh, they used to 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 hire people before for part time and i have many applications with the city of Chicago for positions in O'Hare Airport. Can you give me some idea about how are the rules to hire there? You have any idea about or you don't? I don't, Nassad, unfortunately. Anyway, thank you, man. Yes, yep. Appreciate you Daniel. your answers. And yeah. transfer me. Who is there in the worldwide? Who is there? Daniel, may I speak, please? Of course, Pat. Can? Okay, great. <laughs> Um, sir, I think it would be best that you would start with World Flight Services. They are a hiring employer out near O'Hare Airport, but there are also other employers on the line. If you do not mind, if you would put your name and your phone number and email in the chat, I can reach out to you after this event and connect you with other employers out by O'Hare. But I think you should take advantage of the employers that are participating in this event. Start with World Flight Services. And then if there's others you want to go to, you can move around to their rooms. But I can direct you, directly connect you to opportunities near O'Hare if that's what you're most interested in. Okay? But I would need you to put your name and your phone number, at least, or email in the chat. And I'll take it from the chat. Is that okay with you? Who's talking with me, please? Uh, Patricia Moore. Patricia Moore, I'm with the Chicago Cook Workforce Partnership. We are the public workforce system, and we connected many, many, many employers in every, every high growth industry. So I'm talking about transportation. I'm talking about distribution, logistics. Um, we're talking about uh, hospitality. We're talking about healthcare, and uh, one more, which escapes me. But anyway, we have lots of opportunities to connect you to. So please. Take advantage of the ones who are here today, and if you, we can connect. And if you don't think you can do that, um, when you registered, did you do they put a resume in, uh, Daniel, or not? 
Does it, does they it do not, not in our they current system. Okay, so what we need, if you don't mind, if you at least give me your telephone number, just type it into the chat and your name. When this event is over, I will call you and tell you how to connect with some other employers if you don't find what you need today. Is that good? Oh, okay, yes. hey, Patricia, I'm thankful for this information. You have pen with you? No, um, wait a minute. I do have a pen, but I just didn't have it in my hand. Just one moment, I'll get a pen, just a second. And I can take that from you now, just a moment. All right, uh, I'm ready when you are. Okay, my name is Nissan Shamoon. Nissan like car Nissan with one S, N-I-S-A-N. Shamoon, S-H-A-M-O-O-N. And my phone number is 847-312-2099. Let me repeat that, 847-312-2099, is that correct? Yes, yes. Okay, well, so uh, please, please take advantage of the employers that are here right now. So go ahead and speak with them. This is over at 12-ish, around 12.15. So by 12.30, I will call you, okay? Is that all right? Yeah, it's all right, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I'll try thank to you, see thanks. what they have in the worldwide because I, I used to work in O'Hare and I want to go back, but uh, I, 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 I applied with the city and they encouraged me to apply with that job and they interviewed me, but till now we don't have any uh, uh, second interview, okay? For right, that, well, here's, I, here's, I tried. What I, here's what I'd like to say to that. The city of Chicago and most entities within the um, government and city and local government it takes a good while for that to happen. So while we are waiting, we can be setting you up to meet with other employers and you may get an opportunity that you like. If not, then the city job could come through later, but let's not wait for that. Please, please, please wait for my call at the end of this session and then I'll give you, connect you with other employers, okay? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, have right. a good day. Thank you, have a good Great session. Thank you, right. Don. Bye. Thank you, Don. Yep, thank you, Nissan. I'm gonna go ahead and send you to the worldwide flight room. You'll have to accept the invite when I send you there, okay? You'll see it thank pop you, up man. on your screen. Yep. Make okay. sure he got to that room here real quick. Okay, he's in. Thank you, Pat, much appreciated. Thank you. That's why I was hanging out in the line, just to see if I might be needed. <laughs> I appreciate right. it. Thank you But so if that much. ever happens again, you feel free to send me or Tanya or copy both of us, whichever, and make sure we can make sure that that person gets connected to some other opportunities as well. Excellent. So. Thank you so All much. Right. You guys have a great day. I'm going to go off to a meeting. I'm just a few minutes late for, but that's okay. Have a good one now. So I'll Thank you. Sure. Take care. You're welcome. Okay. So for the other job seekers that are still on the call that have not yet joined a room or have a difficulty getting to a room, if there are any of the employers that you want to meet with, throw those, um, throw the name of them into the chat. And of course, I will get you sent over to the room. I did see a message from a job seeker about jobs in or near the 60503 zip code. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have it broken down that granularly, so I can't tell you uh, specifically which jobs would fall within that zip code. Uh, but again, you can ask you know, any of the employer reps that we do have on the call if you're interested in meeting with them. And again, the folks we still have in the room here, just wanna make one more announcement there are any employers that you do want to meet with, just let me know, drop their name into the chat, and I will send you to the room manually.
Hi there, Bailey. Just saw your message in the chat there. I will be staying here in the main room uh, as host of the webinar, of course, helping folks troubleshoot, get them sent to rooms if need be. Uh, if you're wanting a complete list of the employers that we have that you want to meet with, we've got DCFS on the line, Tenneco, H&R Block, Let Us Entertain You Restaurants, Worldwide Flight Services, the Indo-American Center, Great Lakes Coca-Cola, and the Greater Chicago Food Depository. If any of those employers are of interest to you, let me know and I can send you to their room. Imelda, just saw your message in the chat. I will send you over to the Let Us Entertain You room. Give me one moment here. And you'll have to accept that invite, just sent it over to you. Hi, Lena, just saw your message in the chat. All recordings for our sessions will be on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel. So if you just type into the search bar on YouTube, Illinois WorkNet, there is a virtual job fair playlist at that location. If you click on that playlist, there'll be a link to um, all the videos that we have as far as recordings for all our sessions. So. Um, the session for yesterday's event has not been uploaded yet, but should be uh, either by the end of today or early tomorrow. And the same with the recording for today's session, too. Thank you. Yep.
I want to go to Chicago's Greater Chicago Food Depository.
Let's go to CVS. Hi there. CVS is not on the call today. Unfortunately, they were not able to join. Is there another employer you'd like to meet with? Worldwide flight service. Okay. Well, give me one moment. Thank you.
Hi, Daniel, are you there? I am, how can I help you? Um, you're with uh, the 50th Ward? No, I'm with WorkNet. I'm facilitating WorkNet. the event. How can I help you? Oh, no problem. No, I was just done. I'm finished with the chat rooms. I just want to thank you so much uh, for this setup. It was very successful for me. Gotten a lot of information and learned a lot, but thank you so much. Absolutely, Lisa. Glad to hear that uh, everything went well and that it was fruitful. And of course, hope it lands you uh, your next job. Well, thank you so much. Listen, you have a good one. And the most important thing is everyone stay safe, okay? Absolutely. You too. Thank you, Lisa. Appreciate you checking in. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi there. How can I help you? Yeah. Can you join me with uh, one one person? I don't know who is working, uh, who is there, but can you, I, I'm looking for like administrative type role. Okay. Yeah. We've got a lot of employers with uh, those types of roles. So I'll I'll just list them off for you and you can tell me where you'd like to go. Okay. Uh, we have DCFS, which is the state of Illinois, uh, Tenneco, H&R Block, Let Us Entertain You Restaurants, Worldwide Flight Services, the Indo-American Center, Great Lakes Coca-Cola, and the Greater Chicago Food Depository. I think they all have administrative roles from what they covered today. Yeah, Tenneco, I think. Okay, I will send you to Teneco now. Okay, thank you.
Nico. <laughs> Thank you, Theodore. I appreciate it. Excellent. Well, I think we have all the breakout rooms closed and all the folks that did uh, stick around. Uh, I do believe we have a majority of them back in the main room here. Uh, so again, of course, we want to uh, thank all of the employers, obviously, for carving out time out of your uh, busy schedules to join us here to present all the information about opportunities you have available. And then, of course, sticking around for those breakout room sessions to meet uh, directly with job seekers and help them get the questions they have answered. To the job seekers that are still on the call, of course, uh, you know, we thank you for joining us today as well. And we hope that uh, this event was fruitful for you and helped you make some new contacts with some employers. And of course, let you know some of the job opportunities that are available in your region. Uh, I did get a question here uh, in the chat about the recording for both events. Uh, yes, both yesterday's event and today's event have been recorded and they will be uploaded to the U Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel uh, either later this afternoon or tomorrow. Uh, so all you have to do again, get on the YouTube, type in Illinois WorkNet and there will be a virtual job fair playlist. On that playlist is a link to all of the recordings for all the uh, videos or sessions that we have done in the past. Uh, so you can always check there for any new uh, recordings for webinars that have been done in the past. Uh, I do believe we still have a Yisrael on the line from Ward 50, and it looks like we do have Vanessa on the line from Rep Stoneback's office. Of course, before we close out, I want to give either of the two of you or both of you the opportunity to give a few closing remarks if you'd like. You don't have to, but um, uh, feel free to. No, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf of Alderman Silverstein. Uh, thank you, Daniel Mariscal, and to all the workforce partners from all the agencies who really made this such a successful event. Thank you to all the employers who came out. I know we pivoted uh, pretty late from in-person at the library to virtual, and that was obviously hard. And thank you very much to all the job seekers who came, and um, I hope it's successful for you. Thank you so much for that, uh, Israel. Much appreciated. 
And uh, yeah, I do believe we covered everything there. Again, just be on the lookout for the uh, recording on the Illinois WorkNet YouTube channel. When it's up there, of course, you'll have an opportunity to review all the information that was covered for both sessions. If for whatever reason you weren't able to join yesterday's session, or there's just perhaps something you want to refresh on, uh, both uh, the recordings to those will be up there, like I said, within the next 24 hours or so. Thank you all so much for joining. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week. Thank you all.